So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code on this side. And today we will be solving another POD, right? Check if frequencies can be equal. Also, guys, before starting the video, I would like you to watch my what do we say? A placement course I just started. I have uploaded the orientation lecture, and today uh, by 8 p.m. I will upload my first lecture also. So I hope you will like it. And anyone who is not efficient in DSC or is willing to learn DSC can follow my playlist all along. So let's move to the, move on to the today's problem, right? So it is check if frequencies can be equal. So the question says that you haven't provided a string, right? So for example, this string, and it wants to know that if can you convert all the characters of similar frequencies, such as here frequency of x is one, frequency of y is two, frequency of z is three, right? Here frequency of x is one, frequency of y is one, two, two both, right? Sorry, frequency of x is two, frequency of y is three. Frequency of x is 2, frequency of y is 3, frequency of z is 3. The question says that you are allowed to remove, remove at most one character, that is 0 characters and 1 character. These two are the possibilities. Now you have to tell me if I remove 0 character or 1 character, I have to achieve that distinct frequencies, that is frequencies of all the distinct characters are equal such as this example if you see frequency of x is 2 frequency of y is 3 i'm about uh, i'm allowed to remove one character so if i remove one of the y the frequency of y becomes 2 and you see the 2 is equal to 2 so it will be returning true right speaking about x equals to 2 y equals to 2 you see that if i remove zero characters here x remains 2 y remains 2 so it will also return true right Speaking about this example, you see x equals to 2, y equals to 3, z equals to 3, correct? If you remove x, it becomes 1, 3, 3. Not working. Not equal, right? If you remove y, it becomes 2, 2, 3. Again, not possible. But like these three are not equal, right? If you remove z, then it will become 2, 3, 2, right? Again, not equal. So it will be running false, right? Speaking about this, you can see that they are not equal, so you can try and remove all the uh, one by character characters one by one. So if you remove one of the x, it will become 0, 2, 3. Not a good answer. If I remove one of the y, it will become 1, 1, 3. Not a good answer. If you remove one of the z, it will become 1, 2, 2. Again, bad luck, no answer. So it will be returning false, right? So I hope you are clear with the input and output, right? The approach to this problem can be similar to this, right? Like calculate the frequencies of the letters, store the frequencies somewhere else. Like you store 1, 2, 3 for the above case. Now, what do you do? You decrement 1, it becomes 0, 2, 3. Check if all of them are equal. You decrement 2, it becomes 1, 1, 3. Check if all of them are equal. You decrement 3, it becomes 1, 2, 2. Check if all of them are equal. And for any subcase, if it returns true, return true right this can be your brute force approach right speaking about the brute force approach what is the time complexity of this approach the time complexity for this approach is now first of all to take that counts you will have to traverse the whole string so you have to traverse of n time uh, for string traverser right now suppose you have 26 distinct letters right because it is given that the string contains only lowercase letters right so you can have maximum 26 distinct letters that is a to z right a to z so you will have to traverse 26 times and you are operate, uh, performing operation on every single one of them so if you are what you are doing is you are operating 26 number of times so 26 times into 26 times that is 26 square but this is a constant sum, so i can treat, treat it like o of 1 right so my time complexity will become o of n right and what is my space complexity since I need to store the count, nothing else, is, uh, nothing else is getting used, right? Nothing else is getting used. So what I can do is I can create a frequency array and I can keep the size as 26 because I know all the 26 letters will reside inside the frequency array only, correct? So it will be taking O of 26 space, which is O of 1, right? It is an efficient algorithm. It is an efficient algorithm. But I, since you are here, it's my, since you are here, so it's my responsibility 
to tell you about the approach I used and that is slightly good like it is it has got good uh, complexity than the already discussed right it is an efficient demo it will work fine no problem but I, will, I don't like to write much of the code if it is possible to write in concise manner right so what I will do is similarly I will make a frequency array of 26 size initialize all of them by 0 right suppose my string is x y y z z right so x is occurring one time so suppose this is for x this is for y this is for z right so it will be 1 2 2 right am i correct all right 1 2 2 all right what i will do is i will sort it it will become 0 0 0 etc etc 0 then 1 2 2 it is already sorted order i i know that but some uh, for some cases such as triple a b c it will be 3 1 1 right so it will not be in sorted order so for that i am sorting it right i keep my pointer let me change that i keep my pointer here i is equals to 0 right first of all i try out all the zeros okay my i comes here right now this is the first number this is these are the, these two are the second number right so what i will do is until i uh, i encounter 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 i will move my eye so there's only one one so i will come here right now tell me is it possible to get an answer from this no why because you have to remove one character if it were to add a character then this could have worked right this could have worked it would have changed to two but since i have to decrement it so the only possible way is to get it close to one but these two requires two operations one from this one from this right and i can only afford one operation so this is not possible to do it so suppose the characters are like this one 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 this is a frequency array like zero 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 then one 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 then two 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 and three 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 right is it possible to do no because now clearly this is one time uh, one type of this is second this is third not possible right i have to remove only one character so i can decrease my frequency by one only right i can decrease my frequency by one only correct now for this example, let us consider that 3 is not a part of the survey. Is it possible now? Again, no. When will it be possible? It will be only possible when the slower frequency is coming like this and the larger frequency is occurring only once and it is greater than, uh, it is uh, some frequency plus 1. That is, it can be only possible if it, if it is 2 here, right? And it is only occurring one time. This is the only case, right? So I will move my i here and then I will check if i equals to equals to 25 and this. Uh, frequency of i equals to equals to let's say my current was 1 so current plus 1 right in that case it untrue else in all cases it unfalls right so you can see the time complexity for this will be like i have to o of n for traversal then 26 log a, log 26 to sort the frequency array right which is still shorter than what we discovered above that is 26 square right so something like n square and n log n but n is defined here so we are using uh, estimating it as constant time so 26 log 26 for sorting then for again a traversal o of 26 of the frequency and like we are using i for traversing right so this is all so let's start to code like you can use any approach i will be doing the second approach because i checked it before and it is running fine or not right so yeah you have to do some such kind of things right so a ten equals to s dot length. Let me zoom it and zoom it in a little, right? So let us create a vector of type int. It will show the frequency of characters and its size will be twenty six zero, right? Traverse the length of the string. So for int i going from zero, i less than s dot length, i plus plus. What do you do? Frequency of s i minus a plus plus this will give me the index from a like a will return a will return me 0 b will return me 1 c will return me 2 similarly 20, uh, z will return me 25 i guess yeah 25 right now i've got the frequency array next step was to sort the array right so sort frequency dot begin frequency dot end right sorted clear on the first half so now int i equals to 0 for the pointer that will be traversing so now 
while i is less than 26 which is the length of the 40 uh, frequency array and my frequency i equals to equals to zero like i have to discard all those now that are not in the string for that case i plus plus now one case can be that i has already reached the end in that case it don't true it was an empty string right other case can be that it is not reached the end so now my curve will be frequency of i and now while i less than 26 and frequency of i equals to equals to curve in that case also i plus plus now again a possible sub case that all of them are equal like zero uh, zero characters are to be reduced such as in this case such as in this case the array would look like two two and rest of the are zero right so if my i has now reached 26 then also return true then also return true right otherwise i only left with one case that the last element i am present on and it is only greater than my one so if i is equal to equal to 25 what is the this is the last element n minus one right i is equal to equal to 25 and frequency of i minus curve equals to equals to one in that case you don't true otherwise sorry friend you are not dealing with the value of string so in return first so let's try to run in run it in the meantime i will request you guys to subscribe to my channel and please like the video if you got really something to learn from it right so it is running fine and you can see that we have completed 84 day streak and once again i would like to Recomprehend that I have started my placement series and I assure you that I will continue it till end No matter I go, I get the views or I get the response good enough from you guys But I believe you that you will be giving me a good response. So please 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 watch my channel and I Assure you that I, you will you will be getting the best content, right? See my communication is not at, at par right now But I, I believe that with practice it will come way closer to the best you are receiving and I will try to better my content as required and as mentioned by you guys so that's all from my side for today and we'll meet tomorrow with a new question and a new energy so thank you guys thank you have a nice day